Hey, welcome back. A few videos ago, I showed you all about air conditioner capacitors, how they work, how to test them, how to read the writing on them, and what you need to know to buy a new one, all things like that. In this video, I'm going to take you along with me where I actually change one. So I'm not going to cover everything I did in the last video, but I will put a link to that and you can check that out. And I definitely re recommend that you do because there's a lot of important information in it. Um, but what you need to know is the safety before you even get into this. So I'm going to cover that right now. First thing you're going to do, the first safety check is turn off the breaker switch and that's in the control panel box. It might be in your garage or in your basement. So shut off the power to the AC. Second, there's going to be a box on the wall near your air conditioner and you'll have this black plug that you can pull out. If yours is really hard to pull out, it might be because there's been sparking inside and it's kind of welded the plastic to itself. So you might have some trouble pulling that out. It's a little difficult anyway, but some I've had a few that were really hard to get out just because of plastic melted. So once you've taken that plug out, the third thing you're gonna to wanna to do is once it, the panel is opened, you can get a voltmeter and test the, to see if there's any current. And you can do that where the wires hook up to those terminals there, the exposed terminals. Just follow the power. Now, remember this is 240 volts. It can kill you easily or really mess you up. Um, the other thing you're going to want to know is before you get into messing around and pulling the leads off here, uh, the connectors off here, you're going to want to discharge this. And I don't show all these steps in the video, um, you know, step by step. It's it's mostly in the last video I show you all the little steps. Um, but what you do is you take, when this is still hooked up in your air conditioner, you're going to take your screwdriver and cross common to herm and common to fan and just you're just shorting those now you're going to do it with a screwdriver where you're not touching metal otherwise you're going to get zapped too but these can hold a charge for years even if the air conditioner hasn't been on for a long time so anyway with that said let's get going so i'm going to remove this back panel here and remember the breaker is off and i pulled out the plug in the box so test this make sure you know the power is off you know, you turn off the breaker, you pull this thing out, all those kind of things, and you can test the voltage here because if you make a mistake just one time on this, you really mess yourself up. So off camera, I already discharged it. I forgot to record that part. Okay, so on this little unit, the renter was saying the fan sees, so he greased it up with WD-40 because it was acting kind of, you know, wonky, I guess, just buzzing and not really moving and the compressor wasn't going well again that's a sign of a bad cap we did a video on this before you can see the bulge see that dome on top super simple to replace these and get it going again so all these connectors are not that confusing if you watch my other video i'll post the link right now and uh, you can take a look at that make sure you get the right one so we're just going to swap this put it back together clean out this stuff like this dog hair and dirt maybe uh comb these little fins there to straighten them up and this thing should work just perfect all right so just for reference the yellows on herm red is on c which is common and the what color is that black is on fan so the only trick is getting one of these because a lot of the um, ac guys won't sell you one um, so you're going to have to find a store and home depot and lowe's don't sell these either you're going to have to find uh, a local store that sells these or buy them online. The only trouble with that is you're probably really hot and you want to get this going but sometimes it just uh, you just gotta wait. So I know of a, a store locally that will sell one so I'm gonna run and pick one up now. Um, we're just gonna close this up to keep it safe um, so that you know it's not a danger to anybody while we go uh, get a new part and then we'll reinstall. But yeah, it's just like I thought it was, bad capacitor, but you never know for sure. It's just usually that. Oh yeah, so 30 slash 5 microfarad. Is that 370 volts AC? Here we go. 30 and 5 microfarads at 370 volts. 
is going to be a perfect match and it actually is the same size even though a lot of times they're not. So on this one, ELO goes to Herm. That's the compressor. Uh, the red goes to Common. And the black is on the last one, on the fan. Again, watch my other video if you need more information on capacitors and which ones to buy. Now it's just a matter of securing everything together. Make sure all the wires are nice and contained. Use stri uh, zip strips if you need them. You don't want wires kind of flopping around inside. Put the back panel on, put it back into the on position, and then you can flip the breaker and see if it works. So in this case, it was success. And again, I wasn't surprised because this is the number one failure for air conditioners. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments section. I'll do my best to answer. Have an awesome day, guys. Thanks for watching.